Hello, my name is Cliff Gerber, and I'm working with the Plane Driven Project. This project is actually the, uh, the idea from Trey Johnson that he doesn't want to get stuck in the weather. When he's flying and he gets to a storm and he has to land because of bad weather, he wants to keep going. So many years, for over 100 years, people have been trying to figure out the, a rotable solution, a vehicle that flies and drives. So Trey's idea here was to take a good flying airplane, the Glass Air Sportsman, and uh, see if he could figure out how to make it street legal. And the idea that this plane has interchangeable gear, you can put floats on it, tundra tires, tailwheel, tricycle gear, uh, he thought he could replace the gear with something that would drive it down the road. Uh, one thing nice about this plane is it already has a folding wing. So there's a pin right here that comes out and this wing folds back. So all the Glass Air Sportsmans do that. And then also this plane is, um, it's nice that the gear is interchangeable. So there's four mounts underneath. We take the whatever gear you have off and replace it with the rotable gear. Uh, so my name is Sean Manhattan. I'm working with Specialty Aero on the Plane Driven Project. Uh, it's a rotable glass air sportsman. And um, one of the things of having a rotable aircraft is it needs to be registered and insured. Uh, so we actually have this registered and insured as a three-wheeled vehicle in the state of Washington, hence the license plate. Uh, one of the things that we do, uh, just to create a little bit of extra downforce on the rear wheel, is we want to lock the elevator up so it acts like a spoiler on a car. And we came up with this device to not only lock the elevator up, but also have our license plate, a lighted license plate for uh, regulations reasons. And that just pins right onto the, um, onto the tailwheel here, and with two pins locks into the uh, bottom of the elevator.